Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. Just an addendum to a video I did to Qtron Man on what to do with a kid who is misbehaving in your school or tutoring sessions or whatever. How to motivate him by competition and uh, monetary or fake monetary incentives, possibly if you can. Uh, what if you just have to kick him out? Why should you not kick him out? Why should you go to every extreme to keep him in your school? I mean, if you have to kick him out, please excuse Tchaikovsky. If you have to kick him out, you have to kick him out. You know, so be it. But why should you necessarily have to? Why shouldn't you be able to possibly um, stick through it? I mean, Lisa Van Damme, she, she, have to she had to kick a kid out because he was causing so much disruption and trouble. And is that necessarily... Uh, a good thing to kick a kid out when he's causing that. I'm talking from a small town, and I have to put that out there first, because if you're in a big city and these things don't apply, realize they don't apply. But from my small town perspective, by kicking one kid out, you've got a fairly large billboard of failure. Um, and in a big city, it can affect you too. You know, they say it is a small world, and that comes to haunt people. Uh, you, you have to realize that every kid that you say, I've, I can't teach him, that's a small billboard of failure on your part. On the other hand, if you take in kids who are so bad that they have to have medication to be at the public schools, and you're able to turn them into inspired, motivated students, as I have done, and they're often, as is the case with my student, uh, then that's better and though I've been on the verge of kicking him out three or four different times, it's a better advertisement for me to be able to say, I brought him in, I dealt with him, and he's doing fantastic, rather than I brought him in, dealt with him, and he was lost, uh, I couldn't help him. Which side of that line do you want to fall on? Why do you not kick the kid out? Because it's bad advertising, and you might learn from this little bastard that you don't like too much, maybe, huh? You say he just causes trouble and he's just nihilistic and stuff. Let's say you light a fire under his ass. Let's say you get him going. Let's say you get him thinking. Let's say that he comes back to be your best student in 10 or 20 years. Uh, you might read The Winslow Boy by Rattigan. I haven't read it, but I've read uh, or heard Lisa Van Damme's treatment of it in her... Uh, and there are gems of short fiction. You might read that for a little bit of thought on that subject. Um, don't necessarily kick the kid out because he's not doing well. Do your best to improve him because it's not just him, it's you. When you kick him out, you failed. It's not He's not the one who failed, you did. He's just a damn student. The teacher fails. So, um, I've taken the I've taken the uh, view that whatever I have to do to make these kids succeed, I won't kick them out. Uh, I can't smack their hands with rulers; it's not allowed. No spanking with boards that have holes in them; uh, not allowed. But I can find them hours, take money away. With the younger kids, I can make them uh, sit on the couch and not give them candy during candy time if everybody's done good on their alphabet. Everybody gets a you know, few M&Ms or whatever, except for him because he hit his brother, or he hit this kid, or stole that toy or something. You know, those are the types of retribution you have to use with younger kids. Make it plain and obvious. Older kids, you can monetize it. Uh, they don't have to be much older. Um, seven, I've found, is the age at which I can monetize it, and I think that I'll be able to stretch that younger as we go. Six, possibly. If you start the kids when they're three, you'd be amazed where they, you can get them. Uh, so it's against your interest to kick the kid out because you could learn from the kid and because it's bad advertising, okay? Um, so it's against your own self-interest. Don't kick the kid out unless you need to. Here's the problem Qtron Man is. He's the one he's, he asked the question. Here's the problem he's in. He's just doing private tutoring sessions. So the kid comes over, he tutors the kid. It's just one-on-one. -on -one. He can't use competition, and he can't really use monetary incentives. The way I use monetary incentives is auctions, which if I give out a whole bunch of money in a day, 
the auctions soak up large amounts of money. Works perfect that way with inflation. Um, one on one, can't do it. So he's got the option of going with a full time school and dedicating himself to this principle of uh, improving people's minds, or saying, I'm going to kick out the kids I can't deal with and just take the ones that are easy.